Hi, you guys. Um, Tom McGovern has just re released a new preview of his Church of Gale documentary. And I think he's doing a really good job. The only thing I don't like is it's showing me in 2013 before I started obeying Jesus. And Well, Jesus gave me orders in October 2013, which was when Tom McGovern flew down from Minnesota to, he brought all his camera equipment and everything, and I let him in my apartment, and he, uh, you know, filmed me and interviewed me. And he also, we also uh, drove around. And he, um filmed me in October 2013, and when I looked at that, you know, when you take Seroquel, you gain weight, and I didn't realize how much weight I gained. I think I weighed about 138 pounds when Tom McGovern, and also I was kind of flabby and out of shape. Um, this, if you can compare me now, I, I Jesus cried. He said, Gail, I order you to walk. I still have he said, I order you to walk a half an hour a day. Apparently it's for health reasons. But it, um, they say that if you have a waistline problem, that that can be indicative of future heart attack or health problems, sort of like cardiovascular illnesses. So having a, a nice waistline is not just a matter of looking good. It's also good for your health. So... And one, uh, my waistline's not where I want it to be, by the way. But, you know, you know, for 57, uh, I, since I've lost weight, I lost, I went from about 130, and I'm about averaging about 130 to 132 right now. Since I, I lost about 8 pounds, my blood pressure has normalized. My blood pressure before was like borderline high. That would be like around October 2013. So apparently Jesus knew that I was getting into maybe some cardio. He didn't really say why he wanted me to walk. He just said, Gail, I want you to go out and walk every day for a half an hour. So I've been doing that. And um, he wouldn't say why, but I have noticed that um, you don't really burn a lot of calories from walking. In other words, you can't burn walk off uh, a bad diet. So... I've actually done, even though Jesus didn't tell me to change my diet, when I noticed my blood pressure was kind of high, I did some research online and um, decided to, to, to change my diet, and I started introducing more raw in there. So I'm, before, in October 2013, I was eating gluten. I think I have gluten sensitivity, so I've cut out the gluten, and I'm basically just... Uh, uh, eating of a combination between paleo and macrobiotic. I I have some meat. Um, I'm not as organic as I'd like to be because I'm a very tight budget. So anyway, here's where I'm at. This is around, uh, this is kind of late at night, but I wanted to, Tom McGovern, go to his, um, I'll have a link underneath this video and check out the video. I'm I'm really excited about his documentary because I think it's going to show my spiritual side. And you might say, well, what are you doing going around dressed like this, you know? The reason I'm wearing things like bikinis or outfits like this is because Zach Knight accuses me of reading from a script and that I don't, that what I say in my videos is not coming from my brain and my heart. And that just isn't true. So I prefer to just be very impromptu now and just talk like this. And today I, I've been, I've, I'm going through my apartment. I've got tons of files going back like over 10 years with all sorts of junk. And I, I've got to really pare this place down because they're going to redo the carpet here, put a new floor down. They're going to paint. And I'm just getting this place ready. I, it's going to take me maybe a couple more months. I don't. They might come in here and do it before then. But I'm going to try to get rid of as much junk as I can and get this place organized. And at the same time, I'm still working on my book. I just finished the Canadian Nukaki, pretty much finished that scene. And I like the way that I wrote it. And um, you can check the, uh, the links. To, uh, I'm going to have links underneath this video, previews of my book. And um, also, I've commented at my Facebook page, I consider myself God's missionary writer. And I'm really excited about this because God has brought me to a point in my life where I can 
devote myself to my writing and not have to worry about having enough to eat and that sort of stuff. I'm not rich because Zach Knight steals all my writing money, but in my devotions, the Lord just seemed to say, see, Gail, you're free now to do what you love to do. And he said, I put that love in your heart for writing. It's, I gave you that desire to write, and these books you're writing are going to be very helpful to me. Anyways, Tom McGovern's, he's really starting to get uh, back into his documentary. And for a while he was having trouble because Zach Knight was messing with his sound. And just pray for him, and then pray for me as I write my books. And um, like I said, the Lord is the Lord taught what when I when I lost my job, which was which was the Lord closing a door and opening a window for me. The Lord had me get a certificate in Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel, and. Uh, I'm now using that. I use Excel to help me with a very tight budget to help me to stay in the budget and not go over. And the Lord is just showing me miraculous ways on how I can get by on less. It's like Hudson Taylor, the great missionary to China, said, sometimes we don't need as much as we think we do. As long as we've got our needs met, you know, it's like the Apostle Paul said, having food and raiment, let us therewith be content. And I just, I would rather be where I am now, you know, where I, you know, I don't have luxury money, but I'm able to do what the Lord has put on my heart. And I have the freedom to be able to write books where I don't have to follow any particular Christian denomination. I can just write what I feel is true. So when you guys get a book from me, you're going to be getting a, uh, a book that, you know, like if I was under a certain mission board or something, or if I was writing for a company, I would have to follow their guidelines. And if I was not within their guidelines, they wouldn't publish me. And what's really cool about the, how the Lord has set me up as a writer is He's made it so that I am completely free to write whatever I want as long as I write the truth. That's the only stipulation. The Lord has said, I, he said, Gail, I want you to write. Just make sure everything you write. He wants me to be a nonfiction writer. He said, just make sure everything you write is the truth. So I'm, I'm excited about the Tom McGovern documentary because it's going to say the truth about me. There is so much Jesuit lies out there. they they got a massive propaganda campaign, you know, have, having me labeled as a paranoid schizophrenic. And um, it's just nuts. <laughs> Anyways, I'm excited about the truth going out. Uh, whenever truth goes forward, that's when Jesus Christ goes forward, because Jesus is the author of truth. Satan is the author of lies. And, you know, mo most, most of what you watch on the news, what you see on television is a bunch of lies, because Satan invented electricity in the computer, and, you know, he's in control of all this stuff. And God's in his permissive will is allowing Satan to have temporary reign over the earth. Believe me, it's not going to last. And, and Jesus is using me and my men to help fix this problem. Anyways, this is, um, I lost about eight pounds since the Tom McGovern documentary, but, you know, I'm kind of glad that I was a little bit on the chubby side of that documentary because, you know, when people get to be my age, you start losing your looks. You don't, you lose your model figure. And really, really and truly, it matters what a woman's like on the inside, okay? You can have a Camilla Alves model figure, and um, it, the guy doesn't, he, she scares her, she scares Matthew McConaughey to death, man. The real Matthew McConaughey. The Matthew clone is as evil as she is, so that's a different story, but I mean, he actually has heart palpitations when he thinks she's in the room with him. She, I mean, what kind of a relationship is that? That's what the, uh, this is what the Jes Jesuits have done to my man. So I'm going to be covering this. Um, a beautiful woman is a woman who's vast in her heart and tolerant and forgiving and who, who has been, who the man feels relaxed and free with and not a bunch of narcissists like Lori Mc, murdering narcissists like Lori McBride and Camilla Alves. So anyways, uh, I, I just, this is my real body, folks, okay? 
I'm 57 years old. The, I got here through diet and exercise, okay? I'm still taking Seroquel. And most women on Seroquel gain like 20 pounds, but I'm very disciplined about my diet. Pretty disciplined. <laughs> if I, I don't, I have very little refined carbs. I, um, I've cut out all the gluten um, and um, kind of a blend between paleo and macrobiotic. And um, it's working for me. I'm just thrilled that I'm, you know, that I'm kind of, I'm no longer in the chubby category, I'm average. Um, I would, what I'm doing now, I'm still doing the waist exercises, and I predict that if I keep this up, maybe in six months, I might be able to get this flat. If not, hey, you know, 57 on Seroquel. So, and I'm doing, I'm getting more regular about my facelift exercises. I used to feel so guilty about them because I felt like I was being vain, but the Lord said, Gail, don't look at it that way. He said, he said, I want you to be hot for your men. Because if you, you know, look all flat, he didn't go out and say this. He said, you know, I think you're beautiful the way you are and you have the inner beauty, but um, it makes it, you know, he said, it just, he said, I, you're my favorite and I just want you to look hot. So, <laughs> so that's what he told me. He said, just because you're 57 doesn't mean you're finished. <laughs> so anyways, Check out um, Tom McGovern's documentary, okay? It looks like it's going to be great. And uh, I think my next book, the Lord seems to be telling me in my devotions that Zach Knight's going to have a harder time discrediting this book than the others because it's just going to be, it's going to be my best work yet. I'm getting better with practice.